Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 7 Yahweh said to Moses, Look, I have made you as God to Pharaoh, and I and your brother shall be your prophets. You shall speak all that I command you, and I and your brother shall speak to Pharaoh, as he let the children of Israel go out of his land. I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and multiply my signs, my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh will not listen to you, and I will lay my hand on Egypt, and bring out my armies, my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt, by great judgments. The Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh, when I stretch out my hand on Egypt, and bring out the children of Israel from among them, Moses and Aaron did so, as Yahweh commanded them. So they did. Moses was 80 years old, and Aaron 83 years old, when they spoke to Pharaoh. Yahweh spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh speaks to you, saying, Perform a miracle, then you shall tell Aaron, Take your rod and cast it down before Pharaoh, that had become a serpent. Moses and Aaron went into Pharaoh, and they did so, as Yahweh had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called for the wise men and the sorcerers. They also, the magicians of Egypt, did the same thing with their enchantments. For they each cast down their rods, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he didn't listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken. Yahweh said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is stubborn. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning. It will happen that when he goes out to the water, you shall stand by the river's bank to meet him. And the rod which was turned into a serpent, you shall take in your hand. You shall tell him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to you, saying, Let my people go, that they serve me in the wilderness. And look, until now, you haven't listened. Yahweh says, In this you shall know, that I am Yahweh. Watch! I will strike with the rod that is in my hand on the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. The fish that are in the river shall die, and the river shall become foul, and the Egyptians will hate to drink water from the river. Yahweh said to Moses, Tell Aaron, Take your rod, and stretch out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over their rivers, over their streams, and over their pools, and over all the ponds of water, that they may become blood. And there shall be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both from vessels of wood, and in vessels of stone. Moses and Aaron did so, as Yahweh commanded. And he lifted up the rod, and struck the waters that were in the river. In the sight of Pharaoh, and the sight of his servants, and all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. The fish that were in the river died, and the river became foul. The Egyptians couldn't drink water from the river, and the blood was throughout all the land of Egypt. The magicians of Egypt did the same thing with their enchantments, and Pharaoh's heart was hardened. And he didn't listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken. Pharaoh turned and went into his house, and he didn't even take this to heart. All the Egyptians dug around the river for water to drink, but they couldn't drink the river water. Seven days were fulfilled after Yahweh had struck the river.